this short video, let's create a snow globe in Google Slides using the new GIF feature. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my background. So I'm going to go to background and I'm going to choose an image and I was already looking for some Christmas backgrounds. So let's see what we have for a good Christmas background to be behind a snow globe. So. I'm going to add this tree image for the background. So we'll insert that and let's see what that looks like. Okay, so now I want to add a GIF. Um, I'm going to look for a GIF of a snowman. So I'm going to go to images, click on GIFs and stickers. And here's this snowman that I was looking for. I'm going to grab it and insert it. So now that I've grabbed this image and I insert this GIF into my slide presentation, the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to edit it. So I'm going to go up to the cropping tool. So crop the image, but I'm going to click on the arrow beside it and I'm going to crop it with the circle shape. So now this is the circle for my snow globe. I'm going to move it over here, maybe make it a little bit smaller. And then I need a stand for my snow globe. So for my stand, I'm going to go ahead and go to the shapes tool. And under shapes, I'm going to go ahead and grab this shape that looks like it could be the stand for a snow globe. And so then I'm just going to come over here and I am going to stretch it along the bottom. And it's white and that's fine, but I think I want to have it more of a holiday color. So I'm going to go back up here and go to the paint bucket and I'm going to go with let's go with the red let's go dark red and see what that looks like okay so that looks pretty good so now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, a text box that says happy holidays so let's add a text box and now um, let's see, maybe I'll pick a different font for this. Uh, I'm going to go with Poppins and I'm going to make it bold. That's a little bit big and it doesn't really look black, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight that text. And I'm going to go to the text color and it wasn't it was a, a lighter black so i'm going to click on black and that's better and i'm going to just change the font just a little bit so now happy holidays fits in there if i want to put a outline around the snow globe i'm going to click on the snow globe again and then i am going to go to the border weight and i'm going to put three around there so now it looks like it's in the snow globe and I'm also going to do that here, not for the text box, but for the base. So now I'm going to go ahead and also select three there. So now that looks, a, that doesn't look black either. So I'm going to go ahead and change that and also here, make that nice and black. Okay, so now I have my snow globe that says Happy Holidays. So I could turn this into a Christmas card. So now I'm going to add another text box. I'm going to put the text box here. And I'm going to fill it with white. Or I could go fill it with red if I want to. Now I can start typing my text and this could be a little bit of a story 
or it could be a note of how I'm feeling about Christmas and or it could just be a Christmas card to someone in the class so I'm going to now go ahead this would be where I would write my Christmas story And again, that is not black, so I'm going to highlight that. And I am going to go back over here and change my cut text color to black. So again, this is where you would put your other information. And maybe I want to add um, a little bit of holly in there. So let's go to images and let's search the web for some transparent holly. So I like this. Let's put this. Let's try this one. And there we go. So now I have this transparent holly that I can put into my story. And maybe I even want to make it um, kind of a border. And I'll just tuck it down here in the corner. So this is just a quick and easy way that you could create a virtual snow globe, uh, a Christmas message, and then you could share it. And if you wanted to share it with somebody, um, you could actually publish it to the web. So I'll show you how to do that. If you go to share and go to publish to the web, then this is going to be, once you publish it, you're going to get a link. You're going to copy this link. And then when you go into another tab, you're just going to go ahead and paste that link. And when you go to that link, this is what appears. So now I can send this card to somebody and this is a virtual Christmas story or virtual snow globe with some sort of text in there some sort of message. So I hope you enjoyed this and I um, look forward to seeing what you can create.